Why was this painting considered to be immoral, vulgar, controversial, and outright shocking? Today, we'll find out as we dive into the intriguing world of Edouard Manet's iconic painting, Olympia. This masterpiece has stirred controversy, fascination, and critical acclaim since its creation in 1863. Let's explore the story behind this groundbreaking work and its enduring impact on the art world. Olympia is a painting that challenges societal norms, redefines beauty, and explores the role of art in society. Let's start by taking a closer look at the painting itself, examining the bold statement that it makes in the history of art. This painting serves as a powerful reminder that art has the capacity to provoke thought, stimulate conversation, and catalyze change. Manet's Olympia depicts a reclining nude woman gazing directly at the viewer. Her pose and expression exude confidence, but this was far from the conventional portrayal of the female nude in the 19th century. Olympia challenged the traditional depictions of women in art, boldly proclaiming that women could be assertive and unapologetically themselves, even in the face of societal norms. To truly appreciate Olympia, we must consider the historical context. In the 19th century, academic art favored idealized, classical depictions of the female form. Manet's work challenged this tradition by presenting a radical departure from the norms of the time. Manet's subject was portrayed to be a real woman whose nakedness is emphasized by the harsh studio lighting, shallow depth, and quick, broad brushstrokes. Olympia was not just a painting, but a cultural mirror reflecting the shifting values and attitudes of its era. Manet was profoundly influenced by the realist movement, which sought to represent life as it was, rather than idealized. His contemporary, Gustave Courbet, was a champion of this movement. Olympia was a bold declaration that art should reflect reality, even if it was uncomfortable for the audience. It defied the notion that art had to be confined to the realm of the ideal, and instead embraced the beauty in the real, even the challenging aspects of it. The model for Olympia was Victorine Miron, a frequent subject of Manet's work. Her unabashed gaze and directness challenged the viewer to confront their own preconceptions about nudity and the female body, making a powerful statement about the role of women in art. Several details in the painting pointed to the possibility that Olympia may be a courtesan, including the fact that the name Olympia was associated with prostitutes in Paris at the time. Victorine Miron became not just a muse, but a symbol of empowerment, embodying the idea that women should be portrayed on their own terms. Olympia's servant was modeled by Lore, an art model in France about whom little is known. Olympia was created only 15 years after slavery had been abolished in France. Until recently, little critical attention has been paid to the importance of her presence in this iconic artwork. Manet's Olympia is often compared to Titian's Venus of Urbino. While the classical Venus is passive and demure, Olympia is assertive and confrontational. Manet's painting symbolizes a significant shift from the idealized female form to the real and unapologetic representation of women. This juxtaposition highlights the evolving ideals of beauty and challenges the concept of the passive female subject. When Olympia was first exhibited at the Salon in 1865, it caused a scandal of epic proportions. Conservative viewers deemed the work to be immoral and vulgar. The provocative portrayal of a nude woman was met with shock and outrage. Critics and the public were sharply divided on its merits, but it undeniably marked a pivotal turning point in the history of art and societal values. Olympia shattered the complacency of the art world and thrust it into a new era of questioning and change. Olympia challenged the traditional roles of women in art and society, questioning the authority of the male gaze and forcing viewers to reevaluate their perceptions of beauty and sexuality. It was a groundbreaking and transformative moment in the art world that paved the way for new perspectives and ideas. Manet's brushstroke 
was a catalyst for a broader conversation about power, privilege, and identity in art. The legacy of Olympia extends beyond the 19th century. It inspired future generations of artists, including the Impressionists and the avant-garde movements. Its influence can be seen in the works of artists like Picasso and Matisse, who acknowledged Manet's bold departure from convention and incorporated his innovative spirit into their own creations. Olympia became a torchbearer for artistic evolution, inspiring artists to continue pushing the boundaries of tradition. In conclusion, Edward Manet's Olympia is not just a painting. It's a bold statement, a challenge to the status quo, and a symbol of the changing times. It's a testament to the power of art to challenge norms and spark meaningful conversations. Olympia remains a testament to the enduring impact of art as a catalyst for societal change and reflection. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.